Hello Taurus, welcome to a bonus love reading. We're going to be looking at what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you and their intentions towards you. As always, keep in mind these readings are meant to be general, so they cannot and will not resonate with every Taurus watching. Let's jump right in for you Taurus. There are angels, guides, messages, clarities for Taurus regarding the person they are thinking about or connecting with at this time. What is this person thinking, feeling about Taurus? What are their energies? Where are Taurus, 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 energies. Energies, thoughts, feelings, Taurus, Taurus at this time. We have the High Priestess, Nine of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so the high priestess tells me that they're, um, I'm picturing someone like at night. They're reading texts. Some, okay, some, some of you, this person's revisiting your conversations in some way. I think it's through text, but it could be other ways too. Um, yeah, and look, the hermit at the bottom of the deck, Virgo energy. Um, so again, someone that's withdrawn, alone, and thinking, reflecting, planning. Um, so I feel like whoever this is that you're dealing with, they could be a Virgo. They could have Virgo in their chart. But I'm getting that they're kind of thinking of you on their own, when they're alone, etc. Um, the Ace of Wands tells me that this person's thinking of a new beginning, a possible new uh, adventure, opportunity with you. Um, and the Knight of Pentacles tells me that they admire you in some way, look up to you, respect you, or are very attracted to you. So let's see, what other energies do you need to know? Okay. Love letter, a special message is on its way. So maybe they're thinking about what to tell you, what message to send to you. What else do we need to know about this person's energies? Oh, I got two more. Unhealthy attachment, bonds, toxicity, codependency. Unhealthy attachments are causing difficulty and wedding bells. Marriage, commitment, union. Ooh, so I don't know if one of you is in a commitment already. Um, there's some sort of an unhealthy attachment that your person is thinking about or concerned with. I have tied up at the bottom of the deck, so I don't know if they feel stuck in an unhealthy uh, connection. Tell me more about this person's energies towards Taurus for this connection. What do we need to know about this person's energies? Successful, accomplished, and stable. Yeah, I get the sense this is how they view you or they're concerned with stability, but I think this concern is because you are already, you already have this in some form. What else? What else do we need to know about this person's energies? Intuitive, instinctive, and perceptive. I think this person, um, there's water sign at the bottom of the deck. So that you could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They could have this in their chart, sure. But I think that they're just um, exhibiting traits of a water sign. So very intuitive, perspective, perspective, perceptive, and um, instinctive. I think that they are feeling out there uh it's almost like they're listening to their thoughts their heart in a different way with the high priestess and the and the hermit and for some reason this involves you you know they're listening to their heart or listening to their intuition and this concerns you in some way so let's see what this high priestess is about and all these other energies Get some clarity please for taurus Ah. Clarity, insight, guidance, please, for Taurus. What do we need to know about this High Priestess? What do we need to know about the High Priestess? Okay, that's way too many, but I'll take the first one. The Emperor, Aries, Energy, Three of Cups. Let's just look at them. Three of Cups, Justice, Libra, Energy, The Magician, and The Ace of Swords. Yeah, this person is thinking about what to tell you. And I believe I'm speaking to a Taurus where there's a third party involved here with the Three of Cups. If it's not a third party, um, there's something that's preventing them from connecting with you, reuniting with you, coming together with you. 
Um, but make no mistake, with the magician, the emperor, it's not enough to just think about whatever they're thinking about. They're, think they're planning to do something, to take some sort of action. The emperor is a doer. Uh, tell me about the high priestess. What do we need to know about the high priestess? What do we need to know? Yeah, the Ace of Swords shows up again. What else? What else do we need to know? I think they're planning in secret or reflecting in secret about what to tell you with the Ace of Swords. What message they're planning to send. Tell me about the High Priestess. Ah. Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so for some of you, there is something with a long-term commitment, with commitment in general. That is an issue. Yeah, Nine of Wands. I think your person is most likely in a connection that's not working or in a family dynamic that's unhealthy or some sort of situation that environment that is unhealthy with multiple people. Um, they know this, however, with the nine of, yeah, nine of wands, seven of wands. So I feel like this person has been, it's, it's been a struggle for this person to be in this situation. I think they think about this problem a lot. Um, They've been through a lot, this person. I feel like in their mind, they have to fight their way out. What's behind that? Okay, maybe they're just waiting for the right time with the Wheel of Fortune or the right opportunity to present itself. Um, because there, there's definitely a situation, a situ I can't even talk, a situation that they find themselves in where they have to think of a way out. You know, we have tied up here as well at the bottom of the deck, and it's because someone's feeling a bit trapped or stuck. But with the emperor, the magician that showed up, um, this person is willing to uh, do something about this or take some sort of action. I think it's some sort of a communication with the ace of swords. They could even use this sword to break free as well. Some sort of message, clarity that they, they're getting or that they will be delivering that helps them kind of be free. Let's see, what's this nine of pentacles about? For whatever reason, I think this involves you Taurus but I don't think you are really involved in this problem if that makes sense tell me about the nine of pentacles what's this nine of pentacles about nine of wands tell me about the nine of pentacles tell me about the nine of pentacles nine of cups okay so nine is significant showing up three times here Nines all are um, all about like uh, fulfillment, getting something, attaining something. Um, they could also be about transition, like having some sort of transition in your life. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles, the Star and the Five of Cups. Okay, uh, with the four. Okay, four of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Aquarius energy with the Star. So this person, yeah, they have regrets about the situation they find themselves with. I themselves in. I think this person, because they're in this situation for some reason, they feel less than you or that they are not at your level in some way. I think this person, you know, when they think about you, they think about some sort of hope that they have or faith that they'll be able to get out of this. Um, maybe they're thinking about healing a situation because the Four of Swords is a card also about quiet reflection, which is a theme here. But it's also a card about rest and healing. Um, so I think this person, despite the situation they find themselves in, they have a goal, a wish, a desire. They have a lot of regrets, disappointments. Maybe they could even be missing you, Taurus. Um, and this is kind of all leading to this Ace of Wands. The number nine is significant. They could have been nine months, nine years, nine weeks. Something that happened in September, perhaps. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Okay, we have Justice again and the Magician. Yeah, exactly. So, um, and these flew out of the deck. So, again, this is someone that's very motivated to make something happen. Uh, this could be a legal situation or an official uh, decision that they make, like through like official channels, signing contracts, etc. Um, they're doing something about this situation. Um, let's see, what else can we get with this Ace of Wands? Ooh, the Ten of Swords. Maybe an ending is required. What's this? Nine of Swords, Three of Wands. Okay, worry, stress, hesitation. My deck is really wanting to talk today. Can I get one more for the Ace of Wands? 
Why is the Ace of Wands here? Nine of Pentacles shows up again. Yeah, this is this involves you. You're this Nine of Wands, I feel. I feel like you are the the goal. Ah. These, like, I almost dropped these. Wow, death again. Scorpio energy, similar to the Ten of Swords, some sort of ending. The Knight of Cups, this is that message. Four of Wands. Yeah, there's something happening at home where it's like it's not good. Three of Swords. Um, this person could be heartbroken over the distance between you or just, you know, maybe the grass wasn't greener. They have a lot of regrets. And every time that they think about what they want, you come to their mind, Taurus. But an ending, I feel, is required. And I think it's like an official ending with justice. So, for example, like if this person's married, it would have to be like a divorce. Something very official like that. And this Knight of Cups could be an apology that they're sending you. Or it could just be a message they're delivering. Let's see. What else do we need to know, Spirit, about this person's energy when it comes to Taurus or this connection? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? I'm taking action. Yeah, we, we've seen that. And it's come up in other energies. What else? What else do we need to know about this person? I don't know what to do. <laughs> um, well, I don't feel... Yeah, okay, I was going to say. I feel guilty is at the bottom of the deck. So I think this I don't know what to do is not about the action they have to take. So I hope, I don't know how to explain this. So it's almost like they don't know what to do about other things. Maybe the emotional aspect of initiating a divorce or something like that. Maybe they, they feel guilty about coming back to you or... Um, wanting a second chance with you because maybe they left you for someone else or maybe they feel guilty about the fact that they're leaving their family or they're leaving um someone they committed themselves to you know um and and there's there's guilt tied to this action but it's not that they don't know what to do or what they want to do um let's see what else we have here with their intentions tell me about this person's intentions Tell me about this person's intentions towards Taurus. Tell me about their intentions, Spirit. Tell me about their intentions towards Taurus. Let's see what we get here, Taurus. King of Wands. Yep, and uh, the doer. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. Three of Pentacles. And the Queen of Pentacles towards Virgo Capricorn energy there i think this is you yep eight of wands at the bottom of the deck so the eight of wands is a card about action it could be something that happens very quickly it could be a quick exchange of information or some sort of quick message that comes in um, i think this person's intention is to take action and for some reason it involves you <laughs> let's see what what's this three of pentacles about why is the three of pentacles here five of swords so this is the third party tell me about the king of wands there's something someone else it could does not necessarily have to be a partner it's some sort of interference between you and them tell me about the king of wands four of pentacles can i get one more for this king of wands they're holding back until the right time, I feel. Yeah, the, the world. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. They have to end a cycle and start to start another one. That's why death is here. Tell me about the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Three of Pentacles. Um, there's the Hermit again uh, at the bottom of the deck. So this person, when they think about you, they think about the problem. Five of Swords, Three of Pentacles. Some sort of conflict. This guilty feeling is probably because they're going to have to screw someone over or be seen as kind of like, you know, the bad person or like someone that messed up. I also feel like they have not told this th third party what they're really thinking or planning. So it might be a surprise, right, to this person that they are taking this action with the Justice card, the Magician, the Knight of Cups. Can we get one more? 
one more energy for this person. Let's see what else we get here. Tell me more about this person's energy towards Taurus. We need to know about this person's energies. I often wonder to myself if it's too late. Let's see what's at the bottom of the deck. Please wait for me just a little bit longer. Ooh, Taurus. Yeah, this person, they have regrets because they messed up somewhere along the way. And now it's like, how do I find my, my way back to Taurus? Let me know if that resonates for you in the comments. Don't forget to like if this video, if you enjoyed the reading, if you enjoy how I read. Um, subscribe if you haven't already so that you can see more content from me. And it helps me out so much. It's a great way to support me for free. So thank you to everyone who takes the time to do that. Um, thank you so much for watching Taurus and I'll see you in another video very soon. Take care.